And that's how the most insane game of Treasure Wars duos went down with the ultimate clutch. So I had been AFK for most of that game, and my friend was basically carrying for the most part. And uh, he had gotten diamond armor, so he gave me his old iron armor. So I expected him to carry us to a win in the last part of the game. And our opponent, whose teammate was already dead, was alone. So it was just us two versus him. So I kind of expected my friend to finish him off, except he had just died. So it was just me and the opponent, which was left to us two. And I knew that the game was over once my friend died. So I just kind of ran in there randomly because I knew we were going to lose. So we, as we were fighting on the bridge, I had just knocked him off. But not before that he knocked me off. So I was falling before him. I quickly remembered that I had an ender pearl, so I struggled to get to it, and then finally got to it and ender pearled up, which got us to the win. <clears throat> so that's all I had to say for that. Uh, I wanted to talk about the server a little more specifically treasure wars on um the hive and treasure wars is a pretty fun game mode it's like bed wars i mean i know it's called bed it's called bed wars on their java server but they call it treasure wars on minecraft bedrock i don't know why but anyway i feel like in some ways there there could be things that can be done to make it a better experience so like first of all in this game, as soon as you get, like, five, five, um, gold ingots, that's more than it, that gets you 32 wool, which is more than enough to get to Diamond Island and your opponent's base. So I feel like maybe it should give you less, so, or at least, or maybe make it less and... Make it less, and then make... I don't know what I'm trying to say, but... Like, I feel like you can rush way too fast in this. And I've seen some, like, really sweaty people in this. Not solo, but, like, in squads. Like, I remember, like, first 30 seconds of the game, some people rushed from the side and just gone us. So I feel like maybe that could be nerfed and maybe some way to protect you if you have nothing. So maybe you can start off by giving you like leather armor at the beginning. And also the for the damage values in this, they do like a lot of damage. So like a stone sword does like a stone sword in this can kill a regular person with nothing on in like three or four hits. And I'm not sure if they have crits in this or not. Or at least they don't show the particles of it anyway. And uh, also with bows, bows are also incredibly OP. I'm pretty sure like if you have nothing, if you have like no armor, it, ta it takes about like almost half your hearts and if we have chain mail armor it takes you down it takes out like three hearts and if you have diamond it still has like it still does like a full heart of damage so i think maybe rather than making the bow that op they can just like add upgrades to it so that it isn't so like they can be like a bow with enchantments so you can have like power or punch that kind of thing rather than the bow being that ridiculous i feel like the firing like i feel like you can shoot the bow faster on this server too i'm not sure but it seems like it also the armor is also incredibly op so like the first person to get to diamond armor unless you're really good that's basically it's basically game over once someone gets diamond armor I think rather than giving like full a full set of a type of armor, they give it. Give the player about like half 
kind of like high pixel bed wars because diamond sword because diamond armor is just really op and also uh the pvp doesn't feel very smooth i don't know why but it just doesn't like when you I, I compare servers but like all of them are like so different like it just feels like a completely different experience like the pvp isn't bad but it isn't great on it and also like um i guess that's it for talking about the armor but i think some changes to that it would be nice to see and also i feel like the respawning is way too fast i mean maybe like on your part respawning in three seconds is really good but also like that's barely enough time to break like some blocks like and it's also they don't have shears on this so you have to like manually break the wool with like your hands or your sword so they should probably add shears i remember um I think it used to be five seconds, but they made it three. They should probably put it back to five seconds. That'd probably be better. And um, uh, yeah, maybe some new map designs would be okay. Because eh? like some of them, like some new like map, uh, like the way they are, like all of the solo maps, are like exact are like a, in exactly the same format. They all have like di um, diamond. You know, have like diamond island right in front of you, and the enemy team right next to that. So I think maybe it's like some new map formats would be nice for the different modes. And also, like add just like more upgrades to it. Like I think the only tech technically the only upgrades you have are your generators and that's about it and uh i think that's it for that and i don't know what else to say so i'll let you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay in this to see if i win or not and i'll see you guys another time goodbye and enjoy the rest of the video also, I forgot one more thing. Um, today, Minecraft Dungeons came out. So if I can, today I'll try streaming it on Mixer. Um, I'll upload a short video when I am streaming it. And put a link in the description in the comments. And also, username on Mixer is repeatedax. And that's all.